Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. I think I got everything set up with the new PC now where uh, the audio will be on both ears so hopefully we're good there and uh, the other couple issues I had hopefully all of those are resolved as well but happy Halloween. Uh, at the time of recording this Roblox is still down so we're back in Blender once again and I'm going to build a haunted house and maybe a little scene around the haunted house. Um, this whole scene that I'm working on here will be available on Patreon tier 2 or higher. So if you guys want to go check out the Patreon, hey, link is in the description. First link, every video. Hook your boy up. Support your boy. So I think I'm going to do a time lapse. It's been requested so many times. Hey, my guy just uh, time lapse. And yeah, I'm going to do that. So hopefully you guys enjoy. I don't know what this is. I'm probably going to delete it. <laughs> but enjoy the time lapse. I ain't at the top yet, but I'm better than I was, better than I was I've been making progress, yeah I'm better than I was, better than I was I said I ain't at the top yet, but I'm better than I was, better than I was I've been making progress, yeah I'm better than I was, better than I was I got people doubting me from all angles I'm about to do what they said that I can't do Yeah, everything I ever wanted I bet they gon' be hatin' when I become what they couldn't Oh yeah, I done came a long way, bet you wish I'd fall Everything they do is fake, I see through it all I try to pay no mind to hate, I'm just focused on me But it's hard with all the shade that they keep throwing on me You trying to find where I'm gon' fail, man, that's a long search You try to put me in a bad light, but it won't work I thought the hate would leave by now, but it's just grown worse Well, good thing my upcoming talent hit a growth spurt That's why I shine through all the shade they keep on throwing at me I gotta rhyme through all the pain, even though that gets taxing But no matter what they say you know I keep my head up And I ain't slowing down for nothing I won't check up I ain't at the top yet But I'm better than I was Better than I was I've been making progress Yeah, I'm better than I was yeah, 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 I ain't at the top yet, but I'm better than I was, better than I was, yeah, I've been making progress, yeah, I'm better than I was, better than I was, I said I ain't at the top yet, but I'm better than I was, better than I was, yeah, I've been making progress, yeah, I'm better than I was, better than I was, yeah, yeah. Work every day to be the best I can I'm my way to the top, I'm making it, that's the plan I won't let nobody change my mind, I'm firm in where I stand I climb this rope to my success till I got burns on both my hands And I just keep on climbing I keep on climbing till I die, I'm just gonna keep on rhyming Despite the hate that I get daily, I'm gonna keep on grinding Yeah, I got a dream I'm chasing after You throwing hate right now, but soon I'll be your favorite rapper Cause your hate don't mean a thing to me I got a million other things that I aim to be Yeah And you are not on my radar I ain't in the same league as they are Yeah Yeah, your hate don't mean a thing to me I got a million other goals that I aim to reach Yeah And you are not on my radar I ain't in the same league as they are Yeah Alright, so the haunted house itself, I think uh, I think it turned out pretty sick actually. I think I'm going to call it here for the modeling itself, at least for the house. I think I'm going to build a whole little scene for you guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, open up the color palette and texture this whole thing. And I'm not exactly sure how rendering works, but I think it'd be super cool to render this. It might be a little bit longer of a video than usual, but it's Halloween, so I'm trying to make it a little special for you guys. Let me go ahead and get to texturing though. Alright, so I think I got uh, pretty much where I want it to be for the haunted house and now I just have to go ahead and make a little scene around it. It's not going to be anything massive, uh, simply just like, you know, 
a dead yard. So something like that. Let me go ahead. Uh, I've never actually made like a whole scene in Blender. So I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to bring this up. And then we're just going to bring like the whole of this down. Let me grab my little arrow tools here. Something about like this. Now, of course, this is going to be green. So let me just kind of do that base color. But like a dead green. Like a, ugh. Why would anyone want that? And then let's like drag this down. Yeah, some dead green. There we go. Looks good. And then I, of course, need hills. So awesome subdivisions. Woo. Since I'm not really putting this into Roblox or anything, it doesn't really matter for the poly count or anything like that. So I think I'm going to be A-OK -okay, no matter what I really do. I'm going to use proportional editing and just grab some of these. Oh, yikes. We need to bring this up so it affects a bit more. Grab some of this stuff uh, and just make it honestly pretty weird. It doesn't need to be anything perfect because it's like just the background, if that makes sense. So I'm just wanting it to be a bit taller than uh, than the house itself. And then, of course, in the actual yard, it'll be a lot smoother hills because, uh, you know, yeah, we don't want it to be like all ugly in the actual yard itself. I probably will go ahead and make the tallest parts of this into a different color. So let's wireframe. Uh, I'll go and face select and I'll just grab like to let's say here something like that and then uh as zero we can move these uh to more of a, a gray type color and of course we will need to apply uh, a new material as well all right so something like that i'm thinking uh of course we will shade smooth and auto smooth this just to give it a little bit of a better you know look whole vibe there we go oh yeah this is already looking pretty sick now i'm going to use my c select tool we're going to scale this out just a little bit and i'm going to randomly kind of grab a path there we go. We don't want it to be perfect or else it would look actually ugly. And I'm going to grab these. Oh, snap. I grabbed all that stuff in the back. I, I don't want all that stuff. I just <laughs> I just want this stuff in the front. So something like this looks good to me. We're going to make this. Uh, we'll go stone for now. No, that looks horrible. We can go brown, make it like a, a dirt, something like that. I don't I'm not like a good texture artist. So like, I don't know how to make actual grass and stuff on this scene which is going to kind of stink because it's just going to make it look worse, but it's okay. All that I really want to do left is make a, like a tree. So a dead tree guys, I have like, this is a whole different blender and it used to be alt M and then at center, but like, bro, what now? I guess I just do like scale and then zero, but I, I have no idea. Whole new blender. Also, these weird little gaps have uh, also never happened. So I just have to learn a whole new blender guys. And it's kind of a uh, kind of sad. Yeah, what is this? All right, so I'm slightly unlucky with uh, going ahead and making a tree. So we're going to do this a little bit of a different way. Let me get rid of this modifier because we genuinely don't need it since we're going to have to go a little bit different of a way here. And I'm going to do S Y. I know I could spawn in a cylinder, but what's the fun in that? We're using hashtag cubes. So and then S X. And now we have like the base. Then we'll go ahead and grab these top faces, scale those down. E to extrude, S to scale, and uh, we're going to have to kind of do it this way. And of course, I forget to scale like all of my branches. <laughs> all right, looks good. Now I'm going to need to add in a loop cut here and here. And I need to go back probably and get my um, my loop tools. Loop tools, nice. That's what I want. And now I could go ahead and grab four of these faces right here. I'm going to grab this one, this one, this one, and this one. And click circle. Scale that down. Scale that. And I think I will add one more a little bit further down. Let's go like right here. Go ahead and circle. I'll scale that down just a little bit. Extrude, rotate, scale, drag it up. <laughs> it needs a lot of work when you do it this way and not with the skin modifier. But I genuinely don't know what was wrong with it there. Uh, since I have to get used to this new blender, which is kind of a pain. You know, it makes you like feel like you got to relearn stuff. And I guess I could do one more branch over here as well. No point on cheaping out on Halloween. There we go. Circle. Scale it down just a hair. All right. I mean, I think that actually looks like a pretty sick tree. So let me go ahead. Close this stuff. I actually don't know how. Is it still N? Nice. Still N. I'm going to drag this out, this out, and this out. Yes, I have my broken glitched Roblox thing. All right. And I have it for a reason. So this, uh, since since it's spooky, <laughs> glitched, glitched Roblox is, is definitely being in this scene. Okay. I think it's hilarious. I'm going to put it like as the moon or something. <laughs> there we go, guys. Glitched Roblox. Maybe I'll have it peeking kind of behind these mountains. That's hilarious. Let me go like 
Like something like this. Yeah. <laughs> What's more spooky than that? Tell me, I dare you. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this tree and uh, I think I'll just turn on face snapping and boom, let me go ahead, texture it. And then, uh, and then we can kind of place them around. I'll add some rocks and we'll try to make this look just a little bit better. All right, so I've fixed up the path a bit and I've put some trees around, kind of shaped them a, a little differently, each one. And then uh, I think we just need some rocks. Oh, probably like, dang, we could add pumpkins. We could add so much stuff. But I already have like an asset pack, a spooky asset pack on the Patreon. So if they wanted more in the scene, they could definitely add that. It would all... There's like three things you get if you get tier two. So they're all on there. I don't really delete them. So I guess if you buy it like now, you get three things. If you bought it in the past, you had to wait for all the three things. Kind of tough. But here's the seed, guys. This is going to wrap up the Halloween video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.